What if everything we thought we knew about the moon was just the tip of the iceberg? What if a single, unexpected find could turn everything we previously believed upside down? For decades, researchers thought they had unlocked the mystery of the moon until 2019, when a mysterious substance stunned China and the scientific world. Are we about to enter a new era of lunar mining? And why does China suddenly seem to be taking the lead in this cosmic race? It was a secret, Michio Kaku as whistleblower. Actually, no one was supposed to know about it yet, but then top secret information leaked out. The renowned US physicist Michio Kaku, of all people, had blabbed in an interview and talked about a new promising raw material on the moon. This raw material was found by a Chinese space probe that is currently exploring the moon. The find was still top secret. Only a few and very respected scientists knew about it. After the news became public, the China National Space Administration took a stand and announced, yes, we have discovered a raw material on the moon that will change the whole world. It was back in 2020 when a rover discovered a rare crystal deep in the basalt particles of the moon. This type of crystal was completely unknown before. The mysterious crystal formed during a period of intense volcanic activity about 1.2 billion years ago, appeared to have the potential to change Earth's energy future. The Chang'e 5 robotic mission was the first Chinese spaceflight mission to return lunar rocks to Earth. In the process, it noticed a mineral that no one had ever seen before. Nothing even remotely comparable appears to exist on Earth. The new mineral was named Chang'e 5 Ite, it was named after the rover who found it and Chang'e, the moon goddess of Chinese mythology. But what made this crystal so special? That's actually quite simple. Hidden inside the crystal was an extraordinary element, helium-3. This rare element, rarely found on Earth, could have the potential to fundamentally change the way we generate energy. While the world was still marveling at the significance of this discovery, it became clear that the moon would soon likely no longer be a silent satellite in the night sky. This celestial body has what it takes to show Earth the way to a bright future. Chinese spaceflight conquers the moon. In space matters, somehow, no one had the Chinese really on the screen. Yet, space travel in this country has even deeper historical roots than anywhere else on Earth. As early as the 9th century, Innovators in the country developed the first rudimentary rockets. Everything we know about fireworks today and even the idea of rocket engines originated in China. Although China did not participate in the space race of the mid-20th century, the country began exploring space as early as the late 1950s. The beginnings of China's space program were still closely tied to the programs of the allied Soviet Union. After the nation's demise, China went into space technology on its own and developed its own rocket program. On April 24, 1970, China launched its first satellite. Over time, the Chinese space program experienced a gradual buildup in technology, infrastructure, and capabilities. Another notable advance was the launch of China's first lunar orbiter, Chang'e 1, in 2007, which reached lunar orbit 12 days after launch. In 2008, China's third manned spaceflight, Shenzhou 7, was launched into space. At first, no one really noticed the Chinese lunar missions. It was only after the Chang'e missions, shown with brand new discoveries, that international scientists as well as ordinary people became aware of the nation in space. The Chinese also maintained their own space station, similar to the ISS. It's planned to expand the station in the coming years. For this purpose, the station can be expanded with modules as desired. China had no lesser desire than to be at the forefront of space exploration. The gel-like substance shocks the world. The Chinese lunar program first really made news when Chang'e 2 found a strange substance on the dark side of the moon. Images shared by the Chinese space agency showed an orange-yellowish gel-like substance. The shock was great because the appearance of the gel suggested an organic substance. But how could that be? on the moon, where there is supposedly no life. For a long time, Western scientists puzzled over the matter, finally concluding that it could be some kind of glass or rock formed by the impact of meteorites or asteroids. Unfortunately, Chinese science never shared all the information about this find, so many questions about this substance remain unanswered to this day. Chang'e 2 
suddenly received a lot of attention, especially after it became known how difficult it is to place a rover on the dark side of the moon. The side we can never see directly from Earth is considered mysterious. One very practical problem that NASA and other space agencies have had with exploring the dark side of the moon has been communication with the rovers. On the far side of the moon, an entire celestial body stands between ground control and the vehicle. The Chinese National Space Administration apparently solved this problem brilliantly. Chang'e 2 was a resounding success, as were all subsequent missions. The Future of Power Generation Looking at the moon's new potential, one might almost think the Chinese had a sense of the moon's riches. For a long time, no one at NASA and ESA was interested in the moon. Only when SpaceX boss Elon Musk announced that he wanted to develop the moon economically did NASA dig up old lunar projects. At that time, no one had any idea that the moon would be used for economic and industrial purposes. Musk mainly wanted to fly space tourists to the moon and NASA was thinking about a manned lunar base. Now everything could change and the new mineral could soon be mined on the moon. The discovery of the rare lunar crystal containing helium-3 could revolutionize the landscape of global energy production. Helium-3 is a light, non-radioactive isotope that is suitable as a fuel source for nuclear fusion reactors. Nuclear fusion is the same process that powers the sun and stars. Unlike conventional nuclear fission, which splits heavy atomic nuclei and produces radioactive waste, fusion of helium-3 could produce clean and efficient energy and we would have minimal radioactive byproducts. Imagine a world where energy is not only abundant and cheap, but also clean and sustainable. Using helium-3 for nuclear fusion could meet global energy needs for thousands of years without producing the harmful greenhouse gas emissions that have been associated with fossil fuels. In a time when climate change is becoming an urgent global crisis, this discovery could provide a much needed turning point and save our homeland. China, which has already established itself as a global superpower, was the first to recognize the immense potential of helium-3 and the strategic importance of the moon as a new resource source. By securing a lead in the exploration and extraction of helium-3 from the moon, China could not only ensure its own energy independence, but also take a dominant position in the global energy market. It is entirely possible that countries that control access to this valuable resource will have significant influence in the future geopolitical landscape. However, it's important to emphasize that the technological challenges of using helium-3 for nuclear fusion have not yet been fully overcome. One question is how cost-effective it would be to transport helium-3 to Earth. What is clear at present is that a cargo hold full of helium-3 can power the entire United States for a year. To use the new raw material, would require supply chains as well as mining operations on the moon. In addition, space shuttles would have to be operated at low cost and the cost-benefit calculations of rocket launches would have to remain economical. Quantum Leap in Space Travel Thanks to Helium-3 The problem surrounding the mining of the new raw material could at the same time be the solution because Helium-3 as a fuel would also open the door to a new era of space travel. Nuclear fusion offers the potential for an almost limitless source of energy that is far more efficient and sustainable than current spacecraft propulsion systems. With the ability to generate enormous amounts of power from a relatively small amount of fuel, spacecraft with fusion propulsion could carry out much longer missions at low cost and carry larger payloads. The new propulsion systems would not only allow us to access the moon, but would probably make it faster and easier to travel to more distant planets or even to other star systems. Lunar Houses and Oxygen from Regolith The rock and dust we see when we look at the gray moon is regolith. This rock, long thought to be unremarkable and boring, also suddenly turns out to be a valuable resource. Thus, lunar dust has the potential to lay the foundation for a permanent human presence on the moon. Regolith is considered a crucial resource for future lunar settlements. Through chemical processes and transformations, water and even oxygen can be extracted from regolith. The European Space Agency, or ESA, has already developed techniques to extract oxygen and metals from regolith. This extracted oxygen 
could not only serve as a life-sustaining element, but also as a component for rocket propellants. The ability to produce oxygen directly on the moon would greatly reduce dependence on supplies from Earth and increase the sustainability of lunar bases. Plans are already underway for a long oxygen pipeline to supply oxygen to future lunar settlers. Produced near the North Pole, the oxygen will be brought to NASA's Artemis Lunar Settlement via kilometer-long pipelines. We can be sure that the Chinese also already have plans for their own lunar station, even if these are not yet public. Aside from these vital resources, regolith also has practical applications as a building material. It can be used to build protective walls and habitats. Some companies have developed 3D printers that can turn lunar dust into components for lunar habitats and scientific facilities in an instant. Chang'e 5 – Water in Glass The achievements of the Chang'e 5 mission and news about the moon are far from over. Chinese scientists have discovered something else in the lunar rock samples that no one expected – water enclosed in tiny glass beads. The tiny glass beads are present in almost inexhaustible quantities in the moon rock and moon dust. Each of these glass beads contains a tiny amount of water, but taken together, this water could fill an ocean. The water in the glass was probably formed during volcanic activity on the moon billions of years ago. This discovery not only gives us a better understanding of the geological history of the moon, it also provides humans with a reliable source of water on the moon. For future settlements and industrial facilities, this water could be crucial. While there is also evidence of water ice in permanently shadowed craters at the moon's poles, the water in the globules is probably much easier to obtain by simply heating them. In addition to the millions of liters of water simply bound up in dust and glass, the icy craters probably offer up to 600 billion kilometers of water. By comparison, that's more than 10 times the amount of water in Lake Superior, the largest of the Great Lakes in North America. Gone are the days when the moon was considered an arid and hostile place, and this seemingly inanimate world could be the salvation for our home planet. Press the subscribe button, because there are many more highlights to come.